Office says they will no longer take part in the U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force until officers are allowed to use body cameras. The sheriff is also calling out federal authorities, saying the U.S. Marshals have been misleading in their public comments to the media. This announcement comes four days after law enforcement shot and killed a man in Minneapolis while operating under that task force. Fox 9's Hannah Flood joining us live tonight. So, Hannah, what went into the change? Well, all of this, Randy and Kelsey, is stemming from the fact that last week we learned we wouldn't see any police body camera footage of this shooting because those local law enforcement officers were not allowed to wear body cameras while operating under this task force. Today, the Ramsey County Sheriff said they made a change to that policy, but he says the U.S. Marshal's Office isn't ready for it. In a statement, Ramsey County Sheriff Bob Fletcher said the U.S. Marshal's Office has been misleading in their public comments in the media and says the Marshal's Office has refused to allow body cameras despite regular requests from local law enforcement. Sheriff Fletcher says on Friday he approved a proposed change to the agreement between the Sheriff's Office and the Marshal's Office that would allow officers to wear body cameras. But on Monday, he got a phone call notifying him it could take a while for this to get approved, so deputies would still not be allowed to use body cameras. Fletcher says as a result, he decided Ramsey County deputies will not participate in this fugitive task force. In a statement, the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office says they're reviewing the language of the body cam policy changes that were presented to their office. Minneapolis and St. Paul Police Departments do not allow officers to take part in task forces that don't allow body cameras. Now tonight we did reach out to the U.S. Marshal's Office to get their reaction to all of this, but we haven't heard back. Meanwhile, Winston Smith's brother is trying to build bridges with law enforcement. We sat down to talk to him today about his efforts to unify the community and the police, and you can hear that conversation coming up tonight at 10. For now, live in Minneapolis, Hannah Flood, Fox 9.